So, Nicole, have you ever thought about what you're going to do when you grow up? Because dumb students already have. That's right, Joseph. And if you love animals, it's a great career you may want to consider. Casey Broadfield will now tell us what it takes to become a veterinarian. Dr. Del Hamdan is a vet at the Totowa Animal Hospital on Riverview Drive in Totowa. Dr. Hamdan takes care of many animals every day at his practice. He also tells the patient's owners what is wrong and what to give the patients. The day that we were there, he examined three puppies and gave them their puppy checkups. Water is better. They don't need the milk because their food is, is basically, you know, complete. It has everything they need, so they don't need the, um, the milk. The milk sometimes even gives them diarrhea. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, to become a vet, you need to take many science classes in college, including biology, chemistry, and animal nutrition. After earning your degree, you must go to veterinary college. In order to become a full veterinarian, you must take a final exam. What type of schooling did you take to become a vet? Well, you have to um, finish, the, of course, the high school and then uh, college with concentration on pre-med. And uh, basically after that, you go to, you apply, it's tough to get in. But if you have good grades and you have, uh, you know, you show a lot of interest and you do things that will get you in, into the veterinary school because they look for individuals that are going to be successful and they um, basically they um, really know that they want to be vets and it's just not because they want to have a job, you know. So um, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of um, science, uh, biology, uh, chemistry, biochemistry, and organic chemistry and all that stuff. A veterinarian is a man or woman who treats animals with diseases, ailments, and dysfunctions. 77% of all veterinarians treat animals in a private health practice. They also prescribe medicines to their patients so they get better. On the day I visited, he was examining a Pomeranian named Cookie. He gave him his booster shots, checked his heartbeat, and checked him for canine influenza. Dogs, like people, can get the same infections. That is why they need monthly medical attention from a veterinarian. What inspired you to become a vet? I always loved uh, pets and dogs in particular as a young kid. And I had a, a, a German Shepherd mixed when I was a young kid. And uh, I've seen a lot of um, abuse for the animals when I was younger. And that inspired me to, um, you know, think forward for becoming in the in the medical field in in general. That was a good choice, and I'm happy, very happy about it. I feel that I uh, give a lot, and uh, I take a lot with me too, and I'm satisfied and uh, happy with what I do, and looking forward always to do it this next day and the day after. Animals need medical attention just like their two-legged counterparts. Remember, pursuing a career in the medical field is very hard work. Reporting from Washington Park School, Casey Broadfield, TBN.